Oh, Welcome back to broke. Thunder and Lightning Gaming. A microphone oh, just broke. Is it okay now? I, I can't see. I don't, I don't know. Open My your eyes are closed. fucking eyes, you queef. <laughs> not, not until I'm supposed to. You can look. You can look at the TV. No, no, no. Now I know it's from Paramount. And DreamWorks. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> don't tell me anymore. Welcome to Mystery Game. Chris, uh, if it wasn't already obvious, doesn't know what game we're playing. I've never played Does this game before. Does the microphone look okay? It looks fine. Open your fucking eyes. Look at the microphone. Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm this Thunder. I'm Lightning. And oh, welcome and we're playing to uh, Rugrats game. I didn't know Nickelodeon had their fingers in this one. Oh, okay. I guess not. How many people made this fucking game? DreamWorks, Activision, Nickelodeon, Paramount? I should have started this a long time ago. Um, oh, I just punched myself in the face. What with developer a microphone. is this? Yeah, are you are you okay? By the way, I don't know. We'll find out. I need Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes would be cool right now. Aid, Adrian, Adrendium, Adrendium Games. Impression. Oh, oh! Welcome to Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. The GameCube game based off the movie starring Jim Carrey. <laughs> I've never played this game. Mm. I've only heard of it and bought it. Always got to check the options. You know I beat this game, right? Wait, really? No, I've never oh. beat this game. Rumble, yes. Rumble, yes. Sound, yes. Music, yes. And hitting default didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Did it? No. Weird. Okay. New game. Checking. Oh, is there a memory card? Oh, yeah. Obviously. Uh, No game file. Create. Nope. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I hit the buttons too fast. Create game save. I don't know why that would be the last option. Like, why wouldn't I want to do that? Mm. I've definitely seen this movie. Haven't read the books. Haven't seen the new Netflix. I've seen... The, I've done everything but read the books. This game gets it. They put subtitles on without me asking, and there's mm. no way to shut them off. <laughs> oh, you know, well, it's a book. It's my, oh, no, I was sitting here. Oh, it's because I was sitting on the chair. No, it's a video game. Didn't you hear him? No. He said this video game you're about to play is very unpleasant. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children, who are Violet, the oldest... Yes, I remember this. And then their parents get killed, right? Well, that's what we're led to believe, at least. Oh, okay. ...in a series of unintelligible shrieks, which most people have trouble understanding. For instance... And the person talking is supposed to be, like, the author. That's the whole thing, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be Lemony Snicket. Yeah. And I believe he's played by Patrick Warburton in the new show? Yes. Yeah. An extremely yeah. Unfortunate event. Oh, roll credits. <laughs> we gotta stop playing. I mean, I know it's called Mystery Game, so I'm not supposed to know. There, there's, there's no reason for me to know, but we, we gotta stop playing mystery games that have long ass openings. Yeah, right. Remember the fucking Wayne's World opening was like half the video. <laughs> I'd love some good news. Yay. Love that guy. Neil Patrick Harris. Jim Carrey. Who did it better, Chris? It's ooh. See, have we not talked about this? I've no. I, well, I haven't seen the the series of unfortunate events television. No, show. but I thought I I thought I gave you my two cents on that. Oh, you probably have. It was probably a while ago. It was actually Here's probably the last time we talked about it when we found out about this game. Here's the thing: like the first three episodes of that series is the movie. Okay. So I would say Jim Carrey did a better job at that because Neil Patrick Harris was kind of just copying Jim Carrey's. Oh, Olaf, okay. But after that, I completely forgot about Jim Carrey's Olaf because of how good Neil Patrick Harris did. Oh, so okay. So it's tough to say. Speaking of Jim Carrey, that fucking, <laughs> that Sonic movie. Oh. It's not going to be good, right? There's uh, no way it's not. good. We like, have to do a cinematic relief on it, right? At some point. Well, no, I'm going to go opening night, but it's not going <laughs> to be, I'm not going to like it. <laughs> Just like, I'm going to treat it the way I treat every Sonic game. I'm going to buy it the day it comes out. I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I actually do like more Sonic games than I hate. Like, there's a couple oh, bad ones, good. but most of them I've played are good. 
Uh, most of them that I've played, I've I liked. I really liked Sonic and the Black Knight. I know a lot of people don't. I know why people call it a bad game. Out of context, this could just be uh, Scrooge and what's his name? Oh, other dude, Donald Duck. Dude. Yeah, the guy, he, he kicks him around. His his assistant or whatever. Oh, not his not his nephew, but not Donald Duck, but Mickey Mouse, his character. Sure. See, I've only, uh, funny enough, I've only seen... Really, from what I remember, the Jim Carrey uh, Christmas Carol. The Jim Carrey Christmas Carol? Oh, the, the weird animated, animated one. one? Yeah. You've never seen Disney's no, A Christmas I have, Carol? No, I don't oh, remember Oh, okay. It. Scrooge is Scrooge McDuck. Right. Because, duh. No, I know. Yeah. But the he's got his nephew, and then he's got the guy he bullies. <laughs> But okay. then at the end of the movie, he gives and him that's a Mickey Mouse? turkey, and he's yeah, got like a yeah, cripple yeah, son. Yeah. yeah, that's that's Mickey Mouse. Okay. Can't remember his n- character's name. It's Scrooge McDuck. I mean, not McDuck. <laughs> it's Ebenezer Scrooge. It's Jacob Marley. That's Goofy. That's the dead partner. Yeah. What's the fucking... There's no way... Oh, I haven't been listening Pratchett. to these voices. Jim Pratchett. Oh, there you go. And Tiny Tim Pratchett. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, actually... There's no way Jim Carrey did the voice for this, right? It's so fucking quiet, I couldn't hear. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh. Um. Doesn't look like... Doesn't look from the box art because I know they would put this on the box art. Doesn't look like any of the actors reprised their roles, and like good for them. <laughs> if if you're Jim Carrey and you're Count Olaf in the series of unfortunate events movie, and they make a video game and you get asked about it in an interview, it's your job to say I didn't know they made a video game of that movie. <laughs> Um, I'm still not playing. I was going to say, because we were talking about the uh, actors, um, oh, Violet on. Baudelaire, this isn't weird to say because I was relatively the same age as her when this movie came out. I thought she was really cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, Emily uh, Browning. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to put money that she was going to be the next big thing in Hollywood, and then she like never did another movie, I feel like. Well, she did Sucker Punch, and Sucker Punch did awful. Who should I play oh. as Klaus or Vi- Violet? I don't know what our objective is. To push objects that can be pushed. This Our objective is this is a tutorial. So let me put it this way. You have Okay. You have a baby on your back. If you're going to be knocking things around, I'd be anybody who doesn't have a baby on their back. <laughs> Imagine if Mario, throughout the events of Super Mario Brothers 1, had a baby on his back. <laughs> <laughs> that baby would die, like, <laughs> World 2. Yeah. Uh, press A to jump. That's good. This wow, yeah. This game is reminding me of like Monster House, the game, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the game. It's just yeah. you know the fucking way that people make games when they're like, we got to make a game off this movie. This is how people make games, right? Mm. So now I have a boxing glove. If you've forgotten what you're looking for, you can press start to view the list. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm looking for a spring. What looks like a sheet Wood, of music. Paper. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck on this screen. Well, this was oh, a fun there we go. episode. There we go. There we go. There we go. You spent enough time in the dreadful place. You may leave through that door. I didn't do a sync test. I didn't do a sync test. I'm on resume game. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Oh, it didn't go up that one time. Down, down, up, up. What now? Secret file. Resume game. Resume game. That's how you do a sync test, ladies and germs. Press B at doors to explore new areas. Try opening the door. You mean press B to open doors? You just say to open doors, press B. Oh, my God. Oh, a collectible coin. In these dark nights, when their spirits were down, one thing oh. made the children feel better. Memories of their late There's one of the things I need, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's a bucket. That thing we thought was sheet music and or wood appears to be a bucket. Or a coffee. A uh, can of coffee. Can. Got it. A can of coffee can? Yeah. These have got to be something, right? Oh, like they're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this is going exceptional. <laughs> now I just need a broom, broom, it looks like. Broom. Find us a broom. I'll jump da in da there. Da da yeah. Da. Yeah. 
good. I'm glad we both had the same idea. <laughs> it's just so like this person shaped. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at her go. She even jumps like him. Let's go. Yahoo. Oh, the camera controls are inverted. Sorry, everybody. They wanted the, we're jumping <laughs> in one of these paintings, I can tell you that. I love in Mario Sunshine when you go to jump through the painting and you jump right through it. <laughs> and it's like, it was a painting. <laughs> what did you expect? You know what I'm talking about in the hotel? I think so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what am what am I? She was like, there's more to do this way, but there's definitely oh. not. Oh, okay. Lost, yeah, I assume I that does not look like Emily <laughs> Browning, by the way. <laughs> Emily Browning, yeah. Did you ever watch Sucker Punch? I don't think so. I loved it so much. No one else did. And I'm afraid to watch it again, because what if it's actually bad and I was wrong? <laughs> Sucker Punch was like Emily Browning's uh, stepdad murders her mom. Okay. And then she gets blamed for it. And the stepdad takes her to like a psych ward and is like, Look out for her. Put her with the dangerous ones or whatever. It, it's your n everyday, average, run-of-the-mill, you know, old-timey British psych ward, right? Mm. But the um, the whole idea... Oh, this is health. Oh, okay. Using Violet Press B at openings like this one and to send Sunny no, 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 on no, no, an adventure. No, 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 no. Go back where you were. That little crawl space. Oh, this? Little, yeah. Oh. Now I'm playing as the baby. This seems not great. This seems not great. <laughs> Anyways, um, when she gets there, the... Oh. Oh, my God. I did not expect a minecart level as baby right? Sunny. Oh, I was supposed to jump over that. Whoopsie. I feel genuine like... What if the, if I miss these jumps, a baby dies? <laughs> the whole, like, it's kind of morbid, but the whole goal of the psych ward is to not get lobotomized. Okay. And basically the woman who's in charge of, like, making sure that all of the people in the psych ward are good to go is goes to the main character, uh, Emily Browning's character, and is, like, basically is, like, create a fiction. So the whole entire rest of the movie takes place in her, in her like. Oh, she is she's eating through it. Yes, that's her thing. She eats through metal. Yeah, she can eat. She she can chew anything. Oh, okay. So it's a science fiction. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, the rest of the movie is it takes place in the psych ward, but you don't see it as a psych ward. You see it as a dance studio. Oh, okay. And everything she does, like when you watch the movie and then you look back at it, it's, it's interpreted as like, oh, that's what she was actually doing in the in the actual psych ward. Yeah. But then it goes a step deeper where each time they need to, they have this plan to like steal a bunch of things from all these adults. Every time they do that, she does a dance that she learned. And the, the idea is like her dance is so mesmerizing that people are literally like cannot focus on anything else other than her the object in the center can be moved left to right, up or down. The objects can... Oh, my God. Rotate. Uh, so you find the right spot to attach the neck. Oh, my God. It's like Resident fucking Evil. Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, I, s I see. It wants... So it wants me to... I'm making a thing. Yeah. Oh, got it. I'm just looking for an X. Um... And then every time she does a dance, they don't show you the dance. Instead, what they show you is um, another level of an imagination. And each one is like a mission they're on. And it's like, in this one, you fight zombies. In this one, you're a samurai. Okay. And you're like, in one of them, they, 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 uh, they steal an egg from a dragon. And the egg, f instead of an egg from a dragon, it's a knife from a cook, you know? Oh, all right. But... That's a that's another layer on top of the whole like this isn't really a dance studio, it's a psych ward. Yeah, and the leader, the corrupt leader, who's like, like, 
lobotomizing these girls like against the jurisdiction of like who's who he's supposed to like ask yeah. is played by Oscar Isaac, the guy oh, who right. plays Poe Dameron. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh God. Oh. Take this bitch. Oh no! It's. T- I'm gonna show Jotaro it. all over again. Jotaro? Oh, with the rat. <laughs> Hell yeah! I knew it. I knew there was shit in these fucking pots. Fuck yeah, I've got a punch thing now. I'm going to punch the shit out of these pots. Is this the rest of the game? This is actually kind of cool if it is. <laughs> I just have like one... I have like one like very uh, like stoic punch button. You know what I mean? Mm. This is a one-off, by the way. If that wasn't a yeah apparent. <laughs> We're probably not going to play this game again. Oh, my goal is to kill all the rats. Yeah, Jotaro, eat your fucking heart out. This guy's like hungry for rats. Do you hear that? He what was like, he, he was like, that wasn't bad. Let's find some more. <laughs> is that is that the queen? No, it is not. It is a weird man. Um, it's Count Olaf. Like I said, <laughs> a weird man. Um, I need more rats to kill. Try that. Room. Uh-uh. Open to your right. Sorry, the camera's this one. Yeah. Oh, good call. There's another pot in here. They explained what the puzzle pieces were, but I was not listening. <laughs> uh, okay. So, like, it's oh. you. You're fucking, like, in there. Come out! <laughs> Do I have to, like, hide and wait for him to come out? You see that, right? Yeah. He, like, sometimes comes out. Show am yourself. I, am I good? Oh, I'm just good. Okay. Oh. I thought he was going to... Last time I tried the door, he was like, no, 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 I got to get all the rats. So I thought he was going to be like, you've gotten all the rats. Ew, more rats. <laughs> oh, Klaus is... Stoked. <laughs> this is awakening something in Klaus. <laughs> Wow, there's literally a collectible that I can't collect yet because I have to kill all the rats first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See? What a weird character development I just <laughs> was not expecting or wanted from this character. He just loves killing rats. I guess. No, I, you know, on one level I get it. It's that thing where it's like, I never knew I liked this until I tried it. But on the other hand, he's fucking killing rats with a giant <laughs> fist that he invented from stuff he found around the house. To be fair, I think his sister invented it. True. Well, I just happened to be playing at the sister at that time. I- if anything, the baby invented it. <laughs> Wait, oh. can I? Oh, I can just switch to her. I Sorry, there's more stuff to get in that hallway. But I thought I had to like clear out all the rats first and then go back. But now that I know, I can switch between. (laughs) And then he doesn't have it. And then when I play his name, he's like, fucking square up. (laughs) Yeah, there was like stuff. Is it going to let me pick up the stuff? No, No. okay, cool. Hold on. There's a telescope. Okay, mood established. Switch back to the kid. Go go to the main hall. Call him a kid. They're both kids. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, it's the Hunger Games. What's that? <laughs> it's a telegram. Have you ever read or seen the Hunger Games? No. Beware, Count Olaf. You're, you know. I was going to say you're not missing out on much. The books are really good. Yeah. The movies are not. And they did the fucking, I don't know why they were doing this for a while. I hope it ended with The Hobbit. I can only assume it ended with The Hobbit, where it's like, it's seven books, but we're going to do eight movies, and the last book's going to be two. Mm. They did that with Hunger Games, too, even though The Hunger Games three books. Oh. When you've collected 25 puzzle pieces, press start. For every 25 pieces you find, a picture will be filled in. Each picture will reveal a secret area for you to find. Highlight the different pictures to make them appear la- larger up to. Is that what it said? 
That was weird. I don't like this loading screen. Can mm. I say that? I, I feel like that goes without yeah. saying, but like... Oh my god, this... And then I went into the main hall and it was literally the house from the movie. Yeah. Oh, Klaus is so excited. Yo, I'm down. This game is not terrible. It looks terrible because of the fucking GameCube, but... Yeah. This game is not bad. How do I punch again? A? To my surprise, it was X. Oh. They couldn't get, like, a second rat dying noise. <laughs> so the first person they visit, like, go, go to live with is Count Olaf, yeah. right? And then everyone after that is either Count Olaf in disguise or someone else from the family that Count Olaf kills, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Is that how it works throughout the whole series or <laughs> just for the first three? God bless you. Um... No, it's, it definitely switches up a bit. Oh, okay. I could have sworn... Okay, whatever. Um, I want that 25, yo. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of rooms to go in. Let's just try this one. Oh, it is locked. Okay. Oh, I see the lock now. I, I did think not... Yeah. Hell yeah. Have you ever played... Uh, the Toy Story 2 video game? No. I think it's called Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. No. I think you'd like it. Okay. It's for kids, obviously, but, like, and, and it's clearly, like, like most uh, plat collect a -thon platformers back in the day, it's clearly based off of Mario 64 a little. Okay. But I think you'd really like it. It's one of my favorite games. I don't know if I've ever talked about it. Well, we'll play it. I, I'd love to play it, like, on the channel. Yeah. And share it with you. I tried to play it with my old friend Tyler, but he was just, like, not on a channel or anything, just because. And he was just, like, not having it. And I was like, isn't it awesome? He was like, ah, it's a kid's game. I was like, ah, whatever. I'd give it a go. I'd try it. It's a, it's a platformer, 3D platformer. You play as Buzz Lightyear. Okay. Uh, and it takes place... Like during and around the events of Toy Story 2. Okay. It's like. I'm trying to. Th before I like say this, I'm trying to think of another example. I'd say it's the best movie tie in game ever. Okay. That I've ever played. I'm trying to think of. There's another standout where it's just like. The movie based off the game was super good. But I can't remember. Oh, Ratchet and Clank is technically. A yeah. movie tie-in game, but that's not fair because that game is a remake of the old Ratchet mm. and Clank game, so that doesn't really count. I'd say. No, I agree. Um. Yes, I would like to save because I think I'm going to continue playing this in my free time. Well, I want to play it. Do you want? Okay, okay. Here's the deal. We're going to stop playing right now. This is the end of the episode. This is not goodbye. We are not saying a definitive, like, this is it. We might come back to this game. This game's kind of rad. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but that being said, uh, until next time, nope, no. I have to stop doing that. I've been Thunder. And I'm Lightning. And we'll see you next time.